right, we're about to run pass number four. Um, we've changed the tune up a little bit. We have put in the 125 nitrous jets. So we're gonna be spraying 125 on this run. Um, with the traction issues we've been having, I'm gonna launch on the motor. And as soon as we hook, I'm gonna try to hit the nitrous and see if it'll stick. Um, but yeah, just trying to make some adjustments so we can at least get back in the 12s. But 125 shot on this run, and I think we're running a Honda Civic hatchback maybe. So, no, yeah. All right. Well, change of plans. It looks like we are racing a red Chevy Camaro. I don't know what's done to the car. It doesn't look all crazy. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully it's a good race. But 125 shot. Here we come. I guess I thought we it felt like uh, 2.360 foot but granted like I said that's launching off the motor um, without any nitrous I did hit the nitrous pretty soon um, and it did spin the tires a little bit when it came on but the mile per hour went up a lot uh, we were hitting like 104 mile per hour on the 75 shot out of the hole the 125 shot we got 110.10 miles an hour um, but our 60 foot was 2.3 and we ran a 13.056 um, so again the power is there the mile per hour is there but the 60 foot is not there um, all about being able to hook up guys and we just we just can't hook up so it sucks but we're gonna keep wrenching on this thing we're gonna try to get it back hooking up like it was dead hooking um, definitely going to be changing a lot of stuff here soon in the future we're going to be doing a second stage of nitrous um i'm probably going to spray a 50 shot out of the hole and a 100 shot on the next stage um or we might do 75 on the first stage out of the hole and another 75 on the second stage um but we're probably going to stay around 150 when it's all said and done but we got to fix the traction issue so we got to get this thing back dead hooking on the nitrous. So there it is guys. Time slip on the 125 shot versus that Camaro. 
as you can see, the mile per hour jumped a lot. We gained pretty much six miles an hour um, over to 75 shot. So definitely got more power on the big end, but we can't 60 foot, as you can see. So it's killing us in the quarter mile. We got to run past five. Uh, looks like we're racing a Volkswagen Golf R. Um, they're usually pretty quick, so we'll see what happens. We're going to run the 125 shot again. off the motor on the stock converter and then hit nitrous a 125 shot pretty soon um, if we can get that 60 foot down like we was on a 75 shot launch um, and then spray like a hundred shot later I'm sure we'll see really deep 12s guys really really deep 12s maybe an 11 I don't know um, traction is what matters but yeah All right, we're about to run pass number five um, actually, excuse me, pass number six, and we're going to race a Chevy 1500 uh, crew cab four-door truck. He's got E85 tune, um, he's got a small stall converter, headers, um, he's got slicks on the back, but relatively stock truck, just tuned, and uh, we're going to see if we make a good race out of it, guys, so let's go.
pretty good bit on that one. Um, other thing I noticed is I hit the nitrous a little sooner than the last pass. Um, so it obviously spun the tires when it came on a little bit. But it also, when it made the one to two shift, it actually um, kind of tacked out. It sounded like it touched the rev limiter a little bit on the one to two shift. Um, there's a little bit of a hesitation there. And I've never really seen before because I haven't sprayed the nitrous that much nitrous that early before. So probably gonna have Jay uh, take a couple hundred RPM out of the the shifts. Um, that way we can stay just under that little blip. But uh, yeah, 12.9. We just gotta be able to spray out of the hole, guys. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. Here's the pass. We just ran right there. Focus. There we go. You can see quarter mile time definitely shows we spun a little more than the last time. Um, last round, last pass was a 12.6. You see the 12.9 right now on the same amount of nitrous. Only difference, I hit a little sooner and it knocked the tires off when it came on. Um, and then we also kind of briefly tacked out the RPM there, kind of uh, blipped on the one to two shift, um, kind of had a like a dead spot there where it kind of tried to hit the rev limiter. So um, we're gonna take a couple hundred RPM out of the, the shifts. And uh, I don't know, try to resolve the traction issues that we're having all of a sudden, guys. Um, I'm not the only one out there. Incredible Hemi. Um, Nick's been having a hell of a time lately trying to get his truck to hook up also. So I kind of feel good. It's not just me, but it definitely sucks. Um, whatever's going around must be contagious. So hopefully one of us can figure it out. So as always, guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.